and thanks for tuning in for Catnip Toy Works tutorials. Right now we're going to learn how to paint a grunge softie. So I've made a softie here which is an apple and I actually got the pattern from AuntManny's.com so you can check that out. Um, I believe the pattern was about six dollars but that's AuntManny's.com and what I did is I just made up the little apple and I'm going to show you a technique that I learned on how to paint onto a prim or a stuffed animal. Now something I didn't know was that you can paint on these cloth type items and then bake them and the paint will harden to that really cool kind of shell texture. If you've ever seen that on a doll and wondered how they got it, this is how they got it. So we're going to take our one prim apple and I have already um, dyed this with a coffee stain and it's dried and I've made the apple. So go ahead and make whatever you're going to be using. You're going to be using coffee crystals and you're going to just put one part, well let's just say we need to make up some coffee. There's no real rule for how much you're going to be using. Okay, so just make up some instant coffee. If you have old coffee laying around, maybe you didn't finish your morning coffee, um, you can certainly use that too. So we've just made some coffee here. And what we're going to do is take some empty containers and we're going to use red for the apple. So we're going to do two squirts of red. Okay. And then yellow for a second coat, which I'm going to show you after, but let's just get it ready now. Again, two squirts will work out fine. Okay. Now you want to do two parts of paint to one part of coffee. So we're just going to put in, instead of watering our paint, thinning it down, we're going to use coffee, which I think is so extremely cool because I love coffee. Go sparingly at first. You can always add more, but you can't take out. Okay, and then I have a paintbrush here that I just bought at the hardware store. Nothing fancy. So we're mixing up the paint with coffee. And I want mine to be a little thinner, so I'm going to go ahead and add extra coffee. And there really is no set rule on these. There's no formula, really. You can just kind of do what you like with it. Okay, so now that we've got our paint mixed up a little bit, and you do want to make sure that it is thinned out nicely and you can see that it's starting to get sort of a brownish red color. Sort of a brownish red color. So what you can do is just go ahead and start painting. Okay, so we're going to take the apple and we're going to start painting. And the coffee has actually made it a little crumbly, which is interesting for texture. So you can see the apple is starting to get like an apple-y texture. And you don't want to go too, too heavy because you're not going to want your finished product to be too wet or it will take a really long time to dry. Alright. So we're going to go all around with this. And I would save one set of everything for your crafting and painting. In other words, don't mix your kitchen items with crafting items. So I'm not going to use this cutting board again for food. Okay, once I've used it for painting, you definitely don't want to mix. And I'm not going to use this paintbrush for anything that would touch food either, obviously. Okay, so we've got our apple painted. Now doesn't that already look great? Well now, what we're going to do, wow, see, spillage, you don't want to do that. Okay, we're going to turn the oven on to about, I'm going to say, about 200 is going to be good. You know, again, not really necessary that you follow any strict guideline. And if you don't want to mess up your oven, you can line the tray with tin foil or you could do this in your regular oven again lining with tin foil. I will caution that you don't want any of the heating elements to touch the fabric in here okay because then it might burn. So we'll come back in a minute and I'll show you what this ended up looking like. 
This is a bunny that we made in the last video. Um, you should really go check it out on Catnip Toy Works Etsy page. Um, we think it's really cool. You should really go get one. What is it, Joe? It is a bunny. It's a prim doll bunny. It looks grunge. And it's a dog and cat toy um, because our pets stole it and they love it. And you could use it as a dog or cat toy. They're really great. Thanks for sticking with us while our apple set up and baked. I use a toaster oven now because I discovered it's much better than putting a whole oven on and heating up the whole house. So here you can see how the apple baked up. It just is gonna take more time dependent on how much water you use. So plan on, well, 15 or 20 minutes to get it to this dry state. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna have mixed the yellow paint the same way. Remember we did two parts of yellow paint and one part of coffee, okay? And to give it some character as it would be in real life, what we're going to do is add some yellow, okay? And these are just gonna be some touches, which you may not see too much while you're painting over the red, but when it dries, you'll be able to see it again. And the coffee will make it have little, um, little coagulated bits in it, but it's okay. Because when it dries, it's gonna look really cool. All right. So, you know, just do as much as you like. I'm gonna just make mine be mostly on the top here okay and again if you want darker yellow use less coffee if you want it thinner use more coffee and i've used a lot of coffee here and you want, probably want to get it down into the center there because real apples in nature are going to have yellow in the center there okay and we will be finishing off that center i'll show you a, a cool little trick after all right, so finish it up the way you'd like it. You can go down the sides if you like, but you'll notice that there's a flat side now from it being baked, okay? So we're gonna put this in the oven now. Come on back in a few minutes, thanks. So while our second coat is still baking up in the oven, what I'm going to show you is that you can actually keep the leftover coffee, you don't always have to throw it out, especially if you're gonna be making more apples or more painted items. But, you know, mark it carefully so that people don't drink it, okay? You can put that in your refrigerator for the next time you wanna use it. And in case you're wondering what kind of paint I use, just plain acrylic is what I used. And you can get these coffee crystals in any grocery store, so make sure they're instant crystals. And you can use, um, you know, Folgers or any kind, it doesn't have to be this exact kind. Now one more thing while we're waiting is, if you can find some rusted nails maybe at a junk shop, or if you have some um, from a hardware store, what you can do is just get one out and get ready because we're going to make the stem of the apple out of this. Come back in just a minute and we'll finish up. Okay, so we're back. Taking the apple out, and as you can see it's dried and what I want to show you is a last little trick take some nutmeg over a paper plate and rub it into the apple get it everywhere this is not only going to make your apple smell good but it's going to give it that finished texture that when you see things in the store a prim handmade store if there is such a one by you there's one by me um, but when you see prim items, they always have that nice, dusty sort of finish, and this is how you can get it. Okay, so do that, and then look what I've got. I've got a little nail. I'm just going to stick it in the center, and you can do this with glue, too, if you want to put a dot of glue on there first to make it stay, but it will stay. And there you go. You've got a gorgeous prim apple. So use this painting technique on anything. You can do crows, you can do any kind of prims you like, dolls, anything, now that you know how to paint. So use your painting technique wherever you like, now that you know how to do it. Thanks for watching.
and be sure to visit us on catniptoyworks.blogspot.com.